Hey guys, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Selim Shaimi and for 2020, I'm doing one YouTube video per day related to social media marketing agency, SMMA, all right? So I take your DM on Instagram, I take your comments on YouTube and I make videos um, you know, on it. So if you have any questions, really, if you want me to do any videos about sales, about negotiating, about you know, digital marketing, just ask me in the comments. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I'm going to do something that nobody has ever done. All right, one YouTube video per day and it's going to bring you massive, massive, massive value for you guys. So in this industry, nobody has ever done something like this. All right, so this question came from Instagram. All right, how to make money online. So here is what we are going to cover in this video. So dropshipping, by the way, all of those things, all of those business models, I've tried them myself. So there is not all business models. Of course, I didn't try everything. Uh, for example, there is no Bitcoin, there is no trading because I honestly don't believe uh, on that so much. Uh, and uh, you know, it's maybe legit, but I just don't like it. So I never ever liked uh, trading. I don't see the value, but this is my opinion. All right. This is my full opinion. And you're, you know, you, you, you can be, you know, you can disagree with this opinion, but what I'm going to show you here is dropshipping, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, coaching slash consulting and SMMA. My love SMMA. All right. I have, my company is a social media marketing agency and I just love it. So I'm going to explain you why. Uh, the first thing is dropshipping. So today dropshipping, uh, well, I don't really like this business model. You can make money with it online. It's really hard. All right. It's really, really hard. All of those business models are hard by the way, but dropshipping seriously, like, I mean, it's, it's easy in the way that you can build a Shopify store really, really easily. You can integrate payments in two seconds. You can install the Facebook pixel in two seconds. So dropshipping, is amazing. You connect it to uh, AliExpress with Oberlo, like really everything is so, you know, you can start like in less than a month and you can start selling in less than a month. But why I don't like so much. And by the way, dropshipping. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with it, what is it? What, what is dropshipping basically is you put, uh, you know, you put products on your website and when somebody buy your product, you order it from, um, you know, the provider in China, for example. Uh, the disadvantage is that the delivery from China to any part of the world is usually th about three weeks. So that's very long, especially when you know that there is Amazon that is delivering under three days. People want fast delivery those days. And I don't see dropshipping uh, last really long, uh, to be honest. But right now, currently in 2020, you can make money with uh, drop shipping. You will not make a lot. I think it's it's good to to accumulate some cash flow to invest in another business later. All right, but I wouldn't focus long term on drop shipping to be honest. Uh, but that's that's a legit business model. I just want to show it. I I built a Shopify store. All right, I tried drop shipping, and the thing is that <clears throat> it didn't work out for me because. You, you need, I mean, you need to be great at design. You need to design a great website, right? And you need to be good at advertising and you need advertising also because otherwise nobody will ever come to your website. And if you do SEO, it will, it will take you like one year. All right. And you know, by that time, maybe uh, your products will not be relevant. So really to make dropshipping work, you need paid traffic. So you need Facebook ads or influencers on Instagram, you know, that works well as well. Um, but the thing is that it didn't work for me because I didn't have enough uh, capital to invest in ads. So I lost my budget. I had like $600 I, uh, euros. I couldn't find a winning product. So I did a lot of testing. I split test a lot of audiences, you know, tested a lot of products, but didn't have enough money for the testing. So the problem is that you need a capital, you know, even if the dropshipping model is attractive because you don't need to order the products directly like Amazon, you need a capital 
and a lot of capital, maybe 5K to invest in ads, all right? To invest in Facebook ads, to bring, you know, to get a momentum. And uh, so that, that's it for dropshipping. And also something that they don't really like about dropshipping is that the, the margins are really low. So for example, if you make 100K with dropshipping, chances are that profits you will make maybe 15K or 20K. And that's not really interesting. I mean, I don't really find it interesting and there are a lot of support, customer support. So even if you have one order, guys, trust me, one order, consider that one order is one email. So you need a team that can, like virtual assistant that can, you know, take care of the support for you because it's really exhausting. Amazon FBA, so look guys, I don't believe, at, like I tried Amazon FBA. You can make money with it, but let me show you the reality of, um, of Amazon. So basically if we go on, um, you know, on those data, look at the number of, um, so there are right now, I think 7 million uh, sellers on Amazon, if I'm not wrong, 8 millions. All right. So 1 million new sellers, it's, you know, it's starting to be more and more competitive to get on Amazon. Amazon.com is 20%. So if you are from another country, you can, you know, you can check, um, if your country is not, you know, that competitive, but the market will be smaller, right? But you can try it. You can try, for example, uh, if I would continue Amazon, I would try in all Europe because, you know, that would, that would be equal to, uh, even more to, uh, the U S all right. But yeah, like Amazon is, you know, the margins are, are small again. You're like, see, for example, if you start an Amazon business, chances are that you will be in, um, in the section here, you will make between 100 K per year, uh, and 300 K per year, but this is not profit, right? You need to order the products you need, uh, to invest in advertising also. So this is not profit again, like drop shipping, you will maybe make, um, you know, you will maybe make 15 K or 20 K a year. If you, if you get this in sales and look, it's extremely hard to get to 1 million, but even if you get to 1 million, you will make, you will not make a lot, a lot of money. Right? So again, it's a way to do money online. I don't want to discourage you, but I just want to show you the reality of those business models. And I don't want to show you, you know, to sell your dream. Uh, seriously, if you start an Amazon business, <clears throat> Like, um, yeah, you can start one, but just keep in mind that chances are you will be in those sections. You know, everybody think that, you know, I will make, I will be that guy. I will be that guy making uh, $500 million in, uh, in Amazon. That's, that will not really be the case. I mean, you know, it's st statistics. So, you know, just consider that you will be here. Um, I mean, if you're really good, if you have a lot of products, you can, you can go here, but again, just to show you the reality, you can make money with Amazon and, um, I'm not really fan of this business model again. So let's get back to the slide. Then affiliate marketing. I really like affiliate marketing because it's easy. You leverage other people's programs and products and you know, you just make a commission per sale. So for example, Let's see at ClickFunnels. So a lot of you guys may know ClickFunnels. It's, uh, you know, it's a tool to create a landing page. It's like the leader in a landing page creation and they have an affiliate program, right? So for example, their affiliate program allow, allow you to earn half percent, all right, 50% of commission when people use your link or funnels to sign up as a monthly paying member or even just to buy a particular ClickFunnels products, all right? So for example, if they buy a ClickFunnels course, you will get 50%, all right? I, I'm not sure about it, but if they become a member, what I'm sure about is that you will receive 50% commission, all right? So again, there are a lot of tools. You, you should check, um, you know, commission, the best commission tools online. Um, but it's easy and it works because you leverage other people's products. All right. And if you have an audience, it's really good because you can promote your products. Yeah. I mean, other people's products and, uh, and tools to your audience, and you can make a commission out of it. So 
like affiliate marketing is a great way. I love uh, how it works. All right. For, for example, let's say with ClickFunnels, you sign um, you sign two two members, and you make one hundred dollars. Yeah, I think one hundred dollars per month. All right. So this is cool. This is just you know this is passive income basically passive income that is coming in um, every month and you know take 10 people 10 times 50 all right because you you, you take 50 percent and the click funnel subscription is uh, generally people take the 100 dollars per year per month so you take 50 dollars per person 10 people and that makes you um, 500 dollars per month so it's starting to get interesting it's hard but when you have an audience, it's really starting to, to be interesting. All right, let's get back to the slide. So after we have coaching and consulting, so if you have the skills, if you know to do something well, I really recommend uh, coaching and consulting. If you just started, like really, it's, it's a bit weird to do uh, coaching or consulting. You should, um, you know, I mean, you would be considered as a fake, you know, a fake guru if you already, if you didn't even do, if you don't have any experience in the in the field, if you don't have, if you don't know anything about what you are talking about, just don't start coaching and consulting. But if you have the skills, if you have the experience, if you can help people with, let's say, anxiety or uh, help them to make more money, then you can start coaching and consulting and charge per month or per program. For example, you can say. You know, in 30 days, I'm going to help you to lower your anxiety level uh, with my coaching program. And this will cost, you know, $500. This will cost $1,000. You fix your price. But coaching and consulting is really, really profitable. So again, affiliate marketing, love it. Coaching consulting, love it. Those business models, I don't like really much. All right. And finally, the last one is my love. <laughs> all right. SMMA, social media marketing agency or e-commerce agency, depending all right, on uh, which business you are uh, targeting, but it's really nice. So it's a done for you service. And basically what you are doing is you're providing social media services to business owners, all right, to companies. So it, it's B2B, right? Um, but it's really nice. If you know how to do Facebook ads, if you know, you, you probably know Instagram, all right? How to post on Instagram, how to do stories, how to grow um, a fan base, all right? How to grow on Facebook. Maybe you know how to do TikTok. Maybe you know how to do Pinterest and you can help a particular business. For example, a restaurant. You can help a dentist. You can help an e-commerce businesses that is selling, cl selling clothes online to increase their uh, social media followings and to increase their sales with social media marketing. So as I told you guys, it's a done for you service. So you're doing the service for the business. And for example, at the beginning, you can get a client at $1,000 per month paying you for your marketing service and you provide them, uh, you know, Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO, um, you know, content management, you name it. So it's hard to get a client. It requires skills. So that's the only thing. SMMA requires skills you're building, in my opinion, a real, like that's a real business. I, I don't say that the others are not real, right? But I mean, all of them are real and all of them require skills. And that's what a lot of people don't get because Amazon FBA, you need to know how to advertise. You need to know how to pick the product, drop shipping. You need to know how to advertise again. You need to, do, to know how to copyright. Uh, you need to know how to do design UX. And so it's hard. All of them are real business, but all of them are hard. And for SMME, you need to know how to sell and how to negotiate. All right. So all of them are hard, guys. It takes tremendous, tremendous work. All right. So that's it for this video. The, these are the ways that I've been able to make money. And SMME is my favorite one. But all of them are, uh, you know, are good. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some idea on how you can also make money online. It's hard, guys, all right? If you want to make money fast, just get a job, all right? Because uh, making money online is hard. We are talking about a serious, serious business, all right? And it's hard. It takes skills, it takes commitment, 
Maybe you will stay, you will do it for two years and you will not see results. You will not be able to pay yourself after two years. And that's normal. Like normal companies, the, you know, the owner don't pay themselves after two years. But, you know, that's a little bit exaggerated when it comes to SMMA. But, you know, start with uh, the idea that it's hard. All right. I really, really want to stress this out because it's not easy. Okay. So I hope that you like this video. Again, if you want me to do a video, you can follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM uh, if you need any video, any help, or you can comment on this video and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.